to measure thumb carpal metacarpal joint pulmonary adduction to pulmonary abduction, the starting position is with the hand on the ulnar side. Um, the thumb is adducted to the palmar aspect of the hand. The stationary arm is simply lined up with the index finger metacarpal, so I'll go ahead and palpate that. And the moving arm is lined up with the thumb metacarpal. So once you have both of those palpated, simply line up those arms and on those bones, and again, the axis more or less then places itself where the lung intersection of those two bones uh, would be in space. So this is a starting position. You'll notice it is certainly not zero. Um, nobody can um, get their thumb metacarpal in the same space as their index metacarpal is. Um, and then can I have you bring your thumb way down, pointing away from your palm as far as it can point. Again, palpate index metacarpal. All right, palpate thumb metacarpal, and where those two rays intersect is where your axis is going to be, and in pulmonary abduction, that tends to fall about at the scaphotrapezial joint, um, and in this case, I moved a little, there we go, um, we have about 40 degrees of pulmonary abduction at the thumb carpal metacarpal joint.